on as we go and see if the, uh, so this is the build OGM call for Tuesday, January 25th, uh, 2022. We have live transcript on. Pete, thanks for remind, remembering. I'm still not like habituated to remember. I also thought I changed my Zoom settings. This is weird. I thought I changed my Zoom settings to get rid of the waiting room because I don't like, the first thing I do when I, op when I open all of our Zooms is I open chat, I open participants, I go to the menu, I pick turn off the waiting room, I pick turn off mute all entrance when they come in. I do that manually because I thought I changed the settings at the Zoom website and no effect. So I'm, I'm missing somehow the right setting uh, to do that, or it's impossible to do. They don't want you to, to not have a waiting room. But I thought I'd turn, I thought yesterday I'd finally discovered actually turning off the waiting room and apparently not. Um, so I turned on HD and it doesn't have any perceivable difference. If you've got a password on the, if you've got a password on Zoom, it should, when you do, you should be able to turn off the waiting room. And the links I'm using are passworded. It's just the password yeah. is built into the links. Um, so I don't, I'll, maybe I'll find a trouble ticket there as well and solve that. Anyway, that's not a big deal. It's just a, it's just that every time I open a Zoom, I'm doing those little steps and I'm like, but wouldn't it be nice to have good settings? Hey, Michael, are you noticing any difference in the video quality on the Zoom? Just regular video quality? Do we all look the same? We apparently all look the same. <laughs> I think the same. So I turned, uh, I turned on HD. <clears throat> I went to the Zoom settings and I turned on HD because apparently normal Zoom is in SD. And then there's two grades of, of HD. There's 720 yeah. and 1080. <clears throat> and I turned on the 720. The 1080 is only available for two people on a Zoom at a time. And as a special setting, I think you have to have it approved or something. But I imagine it's only as good as the camera of the person who's on the other end. So, I mean, I can tell the difference in camera quality between various mm -hmm. of us. <laughs> Looking at you, Stacy. <laughs> so, but I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, Pete, you and Pete look a little clearer to me, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Pete and I have relatively new Macs, so I think that's, that's the whole answer there is that there's really nice cameras in the Mac bezels. Actually, no, Pete is using an old Google Pixel yeah. 2 A2 uh, as which, which camera, still has a very nice camera, which has a very which has a better camera should have a better camera than the web bezel cameras built in. You have the best lighting, like you uh, you're. Yeah. I'm in front of some actual um, large rectangular lights. So, yeah, I, I better. <laughs> but now you froze. Yeah. You were punished. Um, you were punished yeah. for showing off your setup. You froze. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Someone on your crew, someone on your crew, on your production crew back there was like, we'll show him. I'm gonna, yeah, wow. Pull that plug right now. <clears throat> um, we've ordered another a, a, another Google Wi-Fi repeater to put downstairs. So hopefully that'll give us better, more reliable connection. Go ahead, Stacey. I was gonna say I have a build OGM topic. Perfect, perfect, please. <laughs> um, I was just reading through the threads. I hadn't been there in a while. And there's a lot of talk of that, um, the email or the annual newsletter or whatever. Um, and I know we're also having a call tomorrow. So will yeah. those two be related? And does anybody want to, does Pete want to say something or? <laughs> Which call tomorrow? Uh, the one with Sam about the uh, civil war, whatever, the one that he thought he couldn't make that that's, he thought was today. Tomorrow? That's tomorrow. Huh. All, I should rebroadcast it. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not sure I know about that one, although maybe my calendar does. Oh, uh, okay. Well, then more about the email part, because I um, know you're- So Rob, was it Rob in the Mattermost who was saying we should have a, an updated yes. newsletter? Yeah. Um, and Pete, you've, you've mentioned this before as well. Um, do you want to? I, I have a yeah. I'm I'm gonna do one. Um, it's gonna be uh, Supra OGM. 
the, a C, is it going to be which entity i use it a csc newsletter is it a i, I think it might be uh I, that's kind of what i'm thinking yeah okay um and i had i had early interest in us having sort of a dashboard where you could in fact go see what was up and where anybody who had a conversation or a project would be would be posting the latest thing to that page so that there was no need actually for an ongoing newsletter um, and I'm torn about newsletters because on the one hand, I think people just dispose of newsletters when there's like five things in, when there's more than like one or two items in an, in an email, some people just dispose of them. And yet I subscribe to probably eight different Substack pubs, which are long reads mostly. And I read them I, like I read a bunch of them. Um, so I'm sort of torn there. Um, but I just, I just think that, that trying to create a state where you were, it's like the real-time closing of who was it? Cisco had real-time close of their books. There was one company back in the dot-com era that was famous, where they 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 basically their books were so up to date that you could pick a moment and and kind of know what their uh, how their how their books were, um, at least to the level of that instance collections and and tax payments and whatever else. Um, Stacy, go ahead. You've raised your hand. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't mean to cut you off, though. <laughs> no, that, that, that thought was pretty much done. Okay. So, so the reason I'm really asking is I wanted to know after the email gets, pre I mean, after the, this newsletter that Pete does, is it like open, like if a few people wanted to create a call around the newsletter, which would be more like a show around the newsletter, would that be okay? Is that, I mean... Um, I, so, uh, so to, to back up a tick, um, wanted to make an observation about it. So I, I like Jerry, you, you and I, and, and all of us, we've talked about the dashboard thing. It would be super cool to see a real time The the, um, observationally, we haven't done it for one thing. Um, I, my, in, I think in an ideal world, that would, that would be what would, that's what you would have happen. Everybody would just keep an, a, a dashboard up to date. My guess is it's kind of like PBS funding or something like that. It's you, you basically kind of need to get prodded to update the dashboard. Um, so um, I, I think having somebody, me, for instance, um, like every, every two weeks go, hey, you, you know, remember to update, essentially remember to update the dashboard more or right. less. But right. then if you put that also into a little bit more of a news format rather than a dashboard format, I think it's gonna also be attractive and more readable and stuff like that. So, uh, so for what it's worth, uh, Vincent and I were talking yesterday and, and he was showing me, he's got, um, you know, he, he can push a, a button on his control panel and get, an abstract of you know the the new events and the new additions to links and all that kind of stuff. So he can produce a fairly automated update of what you know what happened the last two weeks. Um, so we're talking already about combining those. So um, uh, Stacey, that having the it's a it's a really interesting um, uh, interesting question. If you could have a call around. Um, a newsletter and what's new and, and things like that. I, or, or almost kind of, it's almost kind of like a podcast episode or something like that. I don't know if you're going that way. Um, I think that's reasonable. I think I would wait. Um, um, I don't, I don't think they're un incompatible. I think what I would do is wait to see what happens, you know, with the oh, newsletter what? after a couple months and a couple editions of it and see if, if it actually, you know, gels and coalesces into something where you go, oh, it'd be fun if, you know, this we had a call about uh, all the stuff that happened over the past two weeks, rather than just uh, an update. Um, so this is idea. me expressing this is me expressing my interest. If it ever gets to that part, I'd like to be part of that. Um, so <clears throat> two different things. Um, how, uh, how difficult would it be to create some markdown pages that pointed to other markdown pages and then just, you know, um, like, like line them up in whatever order. So, so there, there could be one markdown page that says, here are the, here are the check-in projects or conversations. And then, um, uh, each of those would have their own markdown page on a wiki. Uh, and that would be the page that any of them could maintain or, or take care of. And 
for example, when I finished uploading and processing a call, I would post it. Uh, I would put. I would add it to that list as well uh, in my workflow, so that the latest the, the latest call and the transcript and whatever were available easily there. But we could also do a, a quick text summary or something like that of, of what the call was like, um, and of any open issues or things we're trying to solve. And then we just roll them up and we press a button and that turns into both the dashboard and the newsletter because the moment you say press, the, the moment you go to the page, you can follow any of the links to any of the pages. And if somebody just updated it, it's there. And the moment you press a button and say, just absorb those pages and put it out as a single site, as a, as a, as a single page site, but that turns into a newsletter, that's kind of done. Is that really challenging or is that kind of simple? um technologically it's it's pretty straightforward i think <clears throat> um kind of the same way we we I, I think we've demonstrated more or less that we well I, I guess where my head at is at is um everybody wants to have craft calls and nobody really wants to do it <laughs> but, well this is um, far short of the crabbing this is like stuff we're already doing um, plus, plus a paragraph of prose that says, and here's where we are, here's what we're waiting for, here's our next step, or something like that. Yeah, I think that paragraph of prose is harder than you think. Um, I, I also, I, Jerry, you're an amazing, you, you, you're amazing with the way that you maintain the, the information flow, the, the kind of the rote stuff that you have to do every week to make sure that all the calls get in the right place, and you know, there's transcript files and all that kind of stuff it's it's a, a pain in the mirror and i think most people aren't that disciplined kind of so um i don't know long long story short i would love to have you know have it es essentially be automated um i think there's i think there's value in editorial curation of of the newsletter so mm -hmm. i i think that's going to be a significant value add to it um I'd be happy to, to, you know, not do that. But I think that's part of it, actually. This is what that archive looks like. Yeah, it's amazing. So the, here's the build OGM calls. I just now created this one. I haven't linked it to anything yet, but you know, here's their last, oops, let's go down. Here's last week's call where we talked about the semiosphere and I presented the poll that I was sending out. And Mark talked about his taking the course at Lyceum Institute, which is of course connected to Thomism and the classical Lyceum and the Trivium, which they teach. Uh, oh, I didn't connect it to the Trivium, so I should do that. Anyway. Uh, uh, we should, um, oops, I have right. TTT, no. Uh, it's funny how I, it's funny how I grew up with IFTTT is the automation thing. Yeah. So now I think all automation is IFTTT. But it's not. Or at least my, my, my mouth does or something. Right. Yeah, we should set up a Zapier so it um, uh, at least, uh, especially now that we've moved the Thursday calls off of, um, I think we have. Right? Collective next. We have. Yeah, um, we're on, we're all, all the calls are in my Zoom now. Yeah, so we should, uh, you and I should sit down and, and uh, set up the Zaps so that calls get detected and, and started over at YouTube. I, it doesn't completely automate the whole thing, but it would automate a lot of it. That sounds great. I'm, I, I kind of look at that and scratch my head and I'm not quite sure what, where to go, what to start, because I'm not, I, you know, and Zapier keeps sending me little reminders to go use it because I wouldn't account. So I'd love to do that. Um, hey, what do you think, Stacey? Do we kind of cover your question? Yes, yes. I think, you know, another thing that might happen is um, we might not have separate calls. We might, they might, like you could, you could kind of go over either right before it gets sent or right after it's sent or something like that. You could go over, you know, kind of the state of the, state of the, the Plex um, uh, on the Tuesday call or the Thursday call. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, part of the reason people come to the calls is they like, you know, they like coming to the calls, they like the conversation. And I just think that's like a natural fit and something that you want to keep there. But it also could be used to like branch out. And, you know, maybe there are other people that will be able to see it and say, oh, we're doing something just like this. And then new connections will be made. Yep. 
And Stacy, you were saying, would it be okay to do a show over that? Were you were you thinking sort of like a Michael Che and Colin Jost weekend edition version of <laughs> of what's happening in OG on the CSC land? Or no, I you... wasn't, but I kind of like that. I mean, uh, partially, but not necessarily. You know, maybe. Um, well, for example, you know, for example, I mean, if the first, you know, there were a couple of things that were interesting. I would reach out to the person, you know, could we talk about this? You know, so it might be like little segments or, but I like your uh, weekend update. <laughs> yeah. With a guest, like, you know how they had the guest at the end? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That would be really interesting to source, huh? <clears throat> um, and you saw that Pete Davidson and Colin Jost and a third guy bought a Staten Island Ferry. <laughs> No, you missed that? I haven't been watching it. <laughs> They're going to turn it into an entertainment venue and dock at some place. Oh, in real life you're talking about. Yeah, 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 in real life. In real oh, life. what a and great then, idea. And, and <laughs> I then, love that. <laughs> and then that became a sketch in this past Saturday's weekend update. They, they laughed at themselves about it. It was really <laughs> not bad. That's what <laughs> happens when you don't watch the news. You don't get the humor. There you go. And it reminded me of the seasteading fiasco where the seasteading folks got some money and bought a ship and then basically had to spend a whole bunch of money because they didn't understand what owning a ship means. I read that. Yeah. And then they had to sell the ship while it was in transit because nobody would let it dock. <laughs> <laughs> it was like this horrible nightmare, this nightmare project. So I'm like, may this not go that way. Um, okay, so... So Pete, you're already planning on doing a CSC newsletter I, and maybe pointing to or incorporating uh, Vincent's automated recent changes report. Um, could OGM submit something to your newsletter? Of course. A good chunk of it's going to be OGM. Huh. Because um, that solves the, hey, where's the news problem? And it solves it at a, at a nicer level, which is the ecosystem of communities level. Um, which you are a host for. Um, I like that then it just creates a, you know, will we update a page or, or you know, what kind of what is the current state of each of these things? I can easily provide, here's the recordings and here's what's going on. And if we can automate that one step further, then, then that's terrific because it creates a resource that's more easily accessible somehow, right? Yep. Um, I, uh, I'm behind schedule a day or so. I, I had wished that I'd gotten announcements and stuff up yesterday, but I haven't. So hopefully today. However, I, so the, the way this is going to work, I, I, it, I, I think biweekly um, published uh, first Wednesday and third Wednesday. Um, uh, um, uh, I don't know if this is I don't know if I was going to make this be a secret or not, but anyway, I, I used to publish um, the, be a the, sweet dorm, six. Uh, the the dorm um, newsletter. Oh, which was the biweekly Frank Dispatch. Um, uh, <laughs> so back in the day, I used to, and and it was more or less types out and stuff like that. So um, I'm thinking that like for me doing it, it recall some of the stuff that I did then, you know, there we had, I had probably had a column and, you know, anyway. Um, so about yesterday or about today, something like that, uh, the next, next edition comes out next week, right? Well, on Wednesday or the first edition, um, uh, like a week before, uh, I'll do like, Hey, I'm going to publish the next version next week. Uh, tell me what's new, what's going on. Uh, here's a Google Doc uh, to to start setting stuff up. You know, um, we could on this call, the the five of us, kind of I you know I could start to do Google Doc blank instead of having some stuff about what it was supposed to be, um, but then we could fill in the OGM parts uh, collectively um, if that would be an interesting exercise. Um, the other choice is I guess we do that in a rush on Tuesday right before uh, the the day before next week. Um, or we can do it asynchronously. That would work too. So 
So is that worth a shot? Um, could it, could this be fed through a channel on Mattermost? Um, which, yeah, it could. That's actually a really good idea. I hadn't even thought of that. Yeah. Um, my um, my first, I, I wish it would be HackMD. Um, and then I was like, well, it could be HackMD into Google Docs. And I was like, well, it should just be Google Docs. Um, a Mattermost channel is great too. Yeah. Because I because I I catch up with Mattermost uh, if I can or at least every other day, and try to respond to things like that that would come up. And if you were to poke and say, "Hey, you know, I, I, status I updates needed," I'd be like, "Oh, okay." Um, I try when I post. Uh, you're right about that. It's that summaries are harder than they look. Um, when I post the videos to YouTube, I try sometimes to put a little summary in the description. Um, just really light uh, so that it reminds us more than anything of what was the bulk of the conversation. It, it was, it's really not a call summary. Um, <laughs> oh, Frank. <laughs> oh, interesting. And this is at Caltech? Sounds right better. There? Caltech, yeah. Okay. And when I say dorm, it's actually the Caltech dorms are kind of a cross between a house and a dorm. Or... And Frank was an animal or an occupant? I, it was a person as far as I remember. <laughs> <laughs> love that um buford frank buford frank yeah i like a, a pretend person but... oh so this is not a real person a pretend person no. it's better <laughs> uh good well buford now is now immortalized in my brain for whatever it's worth awesome <laughs> yeah. um that May I ask a, a, a sort of question, which I think in some way relates to this. Um, uh, in fact, I asked you, Jerry, in a call back in December, which to me is like a century ago, but I guess it's only last year. Um, I'm, go well, I'm back in the Netherlands now, but I'm going back to Ireland next week to be oh, near wow. the great cliffs behind me uh, and I'm intending to write a kind of book or booklet about a lot of things I've been thinking about and uh, among them are things like uh, how could a distributed uh, a, a collective knowledge platform or, or network like OGM be a global lab or the generative commons. And I'll be taking some ideas from a number of the conversations which we had. But when I was telling you that, you said, well, why don't you put a notice on Mattermost and anybody who's interested in contributing or thinking together could do that. And I looked at Mattermost back then, but I was in such a rush to, to get everything set up for going to Ireland in mid-December. I never really did that. So I'm wondering, suppose I wanted to contact the people who are in these regular calls or even other OGM people who are on the, uh, the list serve and say, I'm doing this. And does anyone want to think together? What's what's a good way to do that? Um, Pete, your advice? Um, uh, who do you want to reach? People in, in specifically in OGM or? Yeah, specifically in OGM. As opposed to, if you look at Mattermost, there's OGM folks, and then there's kind of a superset of OGM. Um, yeah. But specifically the OGM folks, right? Well, there, there's about 30 or, or, or 40 OGM people that I've met in these calls or whose posts on, uh, uh, on the email list I read regularly, and they're really those, interesting people. Those folks. So, yeah. yeah. So that's um, what I'm thinking of. Then that's probably the mailing list. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can also go on Mattermost, and um, the way Mattermost is set up, the, there's a, a number of OGM channels, um, yeah. and the biggest one is theoretically OGM calls. That's probably yeah. probably true. The biggest OGM yeah. one. Um, the uh, Town Town Square channel is everybody's um, hard subscribe to that basically. So yeah. that's where everybody is, and that yeah. should be used for announcements. Um, so it would be fine to say, well, 
I don't know, actually, I don't know if it we, would be fine. So in OGM calls, you can do <coughs> at channel. Um, at channel means everybody in the channel and everybody's gonna get a notification. Okay. Um, uh, if you just post something in OGM calls, I don't think, I think most people wouldn't see it, but if you do at channel uh, in OGM calls, okay. uh, everybody would see it. And there's probably 30 or 40 people in that channel. Yeah. Um, uh, you could do an at channel in town square, but you would annoy at least me um, uh, because uh, you know not everybody's going to be interested. Kind of right, right. Um, um, Pete, it would be possible for Hank to create a new channel for his book writing, and yeah, then that's... and then announce it on town square and on the mailing list, and then say if you'd like to be in this conversation, please join this channel and then Hank you could proactively decide <clears throat> which of the people in which of the calls you could just sort of go through and remember which people you know you'd like to talk to and ping them and invite them to your new channel and that would uh -huh. all work that, that would all work fine and then you could concentrate your own conversation as you write on your own mattermost channel is that Pete that would work right yeah that's even better um, or that's the right way to do it and and, and actually that's kind of documented in this wiki page yeah, yeah, and documentation is also useful because if I... If you quote anybody, if, you've got the quote right there. Yeah, and if I misquote anyone, I mean, they can say, well, don't you read or, or <laughs> didn't you understand? I mean, that, that's important as well for, for me because I want to get some ideas out and there are also some, I, I think, very strong OGM ideas. So if I'm citing some of them or, or quoting some of them, I'd like to be able to, to say in a footnote or in the, the forward or the afterwards, right. and please look at this channel for what people actually said. And so, all the, something all, like that. And not all the videos have, not all the calls have transcripts, but pretty much all the videos have videos. So yeah. you, can, you can go back to source. If there's a conversation you remember happening on a particular date, you can make your way back to it. And because the chats tend to mirror our topics a bit, like you can yeah. usually deduce the topics from the chat. Um, you could just browse the chats if you can't remember exactly which call it was or, okay. or whatever, or we can, we can try to help you with collective memory. Yeah. Okay. If there's a chunk you're trying to get to. Yeah. And if we were crabbing all of our calls, that would be a foregone conclusion <laughs> because all those little nuggets would be shiny and bright yeah, in, the, yeah, in yeah. Indra's net just hanging there, mirroring all the other nuggets in this beautiful yeah. artifact. Sorry, Pete, There's go ahead. A, um, a, on, on that wiki page, I, it's a, a good kind of, so in a sense, you're talking about starting a community, you know, whether um, that was kind of the original intent or not. <laughs> uh, it could be, yeah. I, I well, didn't think of it in those terms, but that would certainly suit the type of stuff that I'm, thinking of communicating with people so, about, yeah. So just as Jerry said, uh, a good, so, uh, thanks Jerry for, for, for stating it that way, but um, uh, uh, when asked, where do you find the people? I was like, oh, on the mailing list or maybe on, on yeah. one or two of the most channels. But if you, if you turn it around a little bit, where will we end up? Um, that's kind of a yeah. community. And then the way yeah. to, to do that is to, start a channel first and then essentially point people to the channel um and then the yeah. way that you point people to the channel is you make an announce uh places that you can make announcements are the mailing list town square without the at channel um uh at channel in ogm calls um uh there's I, there's an odd thing also off topic ends up having almost all the all the matter most subscribers um but the topics there are supposed to be off topic so you couldn't make okay. an announcement there yeah, um, yeah. Um, a, a very tiny a very tiny side note while you're talking so years ago at pc forum we used to have companies demo and we used to have lotus notes show up there and it was kind of a new thing back in the day and so one day we're setting up the servers before the event starts, before PC Forum starts, and they're they're busy brainstorming topics for threads, basically in, in Lotus Notes. And I'm like, create a sandbox. Let's create a sandbox because people need like a playground. They need some place where it doesn't have to be substantive or about software or about whatever. And so of course that was the the busiest of all the of all the, th the threads. But the people got to know Notes through at least having a little bit of license to play. Um, so we have the cafe, we have, we have like three or four sandboxes that Pete set up 
on the mattermost. Um, yeah. Pete, do you think everybody kind of knows the town square is everybody? I mean, like that's news when you told me. Kind of. I, it, it's not very obvious. I mean, it's so not obvious it, from the setup, yeah. A, a, thing that, a thing that should get done um, either um, when, when CTA came on board, you know, it's like, okay, so here's a couple things that you should know about Mattermost from the way it's set up and stuff like that. So um, Town Square, it does say at the top on, on the channel head, it's something like that. It says something like everybody is subscribed here or something. It's, it's all very soft. It would be nice if there were more instructions and, and then more community facilitators. Mattermost itself needs more more documentation essentially on a, on a little wiki page or something like that. And then some um, uh, guides and helpers and facilitators. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, yes, Stacy. Don't, you can finish your sentence. I, I feel bad like I'm cutting you off just because my hand goes up. Um, but right before this call, I was just like looking around the Mattermost because I don't usually spend a lot of time there. And I noticed that like there's welcome wagon and then there's coffee shop and oh, yep. I was just wondering why they're, why those two are different because what happens is you come for the welcome wagon, nobody's there. But if the welcome wagon is in the coffee shop, then they would naturally meet the people hanging out in the coffee shop. A, a related question is why is there a coffee shop and off topic? <laughs> they're, they're essentially the same thing, but they're different channels. They're well, I didn't get to that one yet. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see that, but yeah. why not? If you combine uh, them, wagon, yeah. Well, there's no reason to combine them. I the the thing that ought to happen. So I have no problem with coffee shop and off topics being separate channels, and they actually end up having different cultures, and I I, I love that actually. Um, uh, welcome wagon was something. It, it was a wish thing that we did. We wish we were doing a welcome wagon activity, and so let's make a channel and do that, and then we never did. Well, so. Yeah. So, I mean, you and you and I kind of had the idea of like we should create a welcome wagon channel. We created it. We then joined it. Um, we then put a page up. We changed the text on the OGM landing page to say, hey, start here. And then nobody's found that or followed that. Because if anybody showed up in the welcome wagon channel and said, you know, knock, knock, is anyone here? I think you and I would chime in. I don't know if anybody else yeah, would. It's, it's a, so this is a beauty is in the eye of the boulder or something, okay. or usability is in the, the eye of the, the user. Whether or not it it could function, it is not functioning. <laughs> well, nobody found their way to it. Nobody has been nobody has been guided to it. Stacy, by the way, has found another interesting thing on the wiki. Um, Stacy, the the that link is just broken. It's not the, the template for for community ah, isn't there. Template okay, for project. So I I put the links for the templates to projects. Oh, um, thank you. Uh, and. Partly it's broken because, I, I don't know, there's a whole kind of hierarchy of, of technical and community reasons it's broken and not fixed. Um, um, it's not fixed because nobody cares if it gets fixed, um, except now you. Um, uh, so then in another year, somebody will care again. And, and um, uh, anyway, um, the, so the welcome wagon was an idea and, you know, a, a latent um, activity by at least Jerry and me to welcome people and stuff like that. Um, we haven't been using it. So coffee shop is actually, I, well, so we could, uh, we could um, push welcome wagon to be more engaged. Um, we could do that. Um, it would be disruptive to coffee shop to shoehorn um welcome I get into it and I coffee shop is not an OGM channel it's a it's a, a pan uh, Mattermost uh, channel uh, which is the channel which is the channel where I just saw like the Danny K video probably coffee shop okay because that didn't see okay okay it, it could I, I just sorry I was gonna That's say okay. I don't know how you disrupt a conversation that has like videos of Danny K like <laughs> um, uh, it, for, for me, um, a, a more interesting co comparison really for me is coffee shop and off topic. This is a really fascinating one for me, but coffee shop is 20 or 30 people. Um, I have to make this a little bit bigger. So, um, 
coffee shop is 25 people and they expect, you know, moderately interesting kind of the, the stuff you would, uh, the way Bill, Bill Anderson described it to me, I think is the kind of stuff that you would expect to hear in a coffee shop, right? Yeah. Um, uh, so a Danny Kay video in a coffee shop makes a ton of sense. It's just like, oh yeah, I, you know, I'm bouncing around and- uh, Well, that's you know, the coffee so shop I would go to. <laughs> um, so, so having the OGM welcome wagon, it, it's kind of like, you know, 10 or 15 OGM people, they all have an OGM shirt on or however you tell OGM people or OGM hats. Um, and they come into a coffee shop and they're loud and boisterous or they're not loud and boisterous or they're sitting by themselves or whatever. It, it impacts the culture of the, the coffee shop. Not necessarily in a bad way, but I, you know, I would call that kind of, you know, it's, it's like, you know, if you're doing a single activity, it's, or it's kind of like a group of Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts or whatever coming in and, you know, hey, everybody, you want to buy some candy? You know, and it's like, that's kind of inbounds for a coffee shop and kind of out of bounds. It's a, a little, you know, a little, um, little tin eared. So I seem to remember maybe it was on the well, it was someplace. There was kind of a pub and it was a thread where you'd show up and like somebody would be tending bar and pass you a virtual beer yep. um, and, and so forth. And it was kind of cute because there was this, there was, there was this artifact that, that you were in a pub and, and you'd have some of the, the, the traffic and chatter of a pub um, and pub is different from coffee shop. And that, that's kind of interesting. And I, I, I'm not sure why telling newbies to go get your first donut at the coffee shop would not be a terrible idea because that's a, it's a nice place to drop in and go, oh, okay, people are just chattering about different kinds of things. So maybe I see it as less disruptive than you do because it seems to me like the coffee shop is a great place to just if, like be seen and get known and be like, yeah, hi, welcome. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, culture is, culture is whatever happens, right? I, I don't want to be super prescriptive. Um, the, the, the thing that is a little bit weird for me in that scenario is um, coffee shop is really not just o OGM, right? Um, so having having the OGM welcome wagon point people at coffee shop, it's, I don't know, it's kind of, you know. Uh, is it too blunt? Uh, well, it's, it's, um, uh, so you could have an OGM pub which would say serve kind of the same idea as a coffee shop. Um, uh, so, so pointing, it, it's kind of like, uh, <laughs> um, uh, starting to feel like I'm saying too much. Um, <laughs> what, whatever happens, you know, happens. It's, it's cool. It's fine. Is it possible to put three letters before um, coffee shop so that people know it's not necessarily OGM? Uh, we do it the other way around. Everything without a preface there, is general. There are three letters before every OGM channel that says right. OGM. Yeah. So is it possible to put that note in the welcome wagon or some uh, kind of explanation of? Well, so, um, I, I will share my uh, my mattermost. So we, yeah, we and one more one more thing, Pete. Also, mm -hmm. to put that that whole wiki link that I was just reading through, maybe to put that in the welcome wagon too. Yeah, the um, it, as Jerry kind of recounted, we've done some of that already. And if, if you think about it, um, links links don't mean a lot, right? Um, and even documentation, right? So part of uh, I, the the OGM folks, um, Jerry and me and whoever, uh, we've got a, a link here to Open Global Mind, and then we've got uh, a link to the OGM current projects, which I clicked and you can't see. But so we have a dashboard. Um, uh, you know, if whatever you put up here, people aren't really going to read it. Um, people don't follow links, people don't read things and stuff like that. And I'm not complaining at all. It's, it's just a, a thing, right? Um, the way a welcome wagon channel would work and the way that you communicate things like, hey, this is the place where you do X, this is the place where, you know, that's the place where you do Y. Um, 
all of that stuff is communicated more or less orally in, in my parlance. It's, it's something that you bring up on a call or it's something that, you know, you, you find a newbie and you say, hey, newbie, uh, your, um, your welcome wagon um, uh, concierge is going to be Pete or it's going to be Stacy. Um, could you set up a call with Stacy and she'll walk you through the, you know, the, the way the culture works and all that kind of stuff. And that's, I, I think that's the way that, well, if we wanted the welcome wagon to work, you know, adding a little bit of, or if you wanted to tell people, you know, coffee shop is not OGM or, or anything like that, it's, it's not something that you would build into the, 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 the information architecture, it's something that you would tell people. Um, it's, it's more, it's culture more than architecture, if that makes sense. Um, so the, the, the gist, the background of, of what you're talking about is makes a ton of sense. Um, you know, there should be a, a place where uh, new, new OGM newbies get more acculturated. Um, uh, I think, you know, I think Jerry, yeah. Um, it's, it's funny, we didn't even really leave ourselves um, Part of the welcome wagon idea, I think, Jerry, if I'm remembering or reconstructing in my head, was mm -hmm. the idea that there would be a little crew of welcome wagon volunteers who would be the folks, and uh, Bill Anderson's gonna pop in. So um, there would be a little crew of, of volunteers, and this would be where you'd say, you know, hey, um, uh, 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 Janish is uh, a new OGM member please welcome him, you know, with open arms and show him around or something like that. And then uh, the welcome wagon crew would jump into action and then say, hi, Anish, you know, how's it going? And um, let me set up a call with you so I can walk you through how to use this thing and all that. So from my perspective, there's 12 people in this channel now, uh, of which probably eight are that kind of person. It's you, me, uh, Bill, Rob, uh, Eric, there's a bunch of people that you'd want to have, uh, Wendy, that you'd want to have as part of a welcome wagon. So we, we already sort of populated this room with enough humans that that could take place. I think the, I think, I think the major fail we have so far in, in this channel is that we're not routing anybody to it who's new. That's all. Yes, agreed. That's, that's really simple. And if newbies came well. here and, 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 and if we answered questions, it, it might or might not spark to life and it might be too narrow a channel, right? Um, I. Yes, totally agree. Except for the really simple part, um, <laughs> because nothing in life is really simple. Well, it's just de deceptively simple, right? Or deceptively simple seeming. Um, uh, we we have a lot of things where we say it's really simple, and then <clears throat> they don't. It doesn't happen for whatever reason. Um, Can I ask one technical question that please. I'm afraid, afraid I know the answer to? But, oh, good. <laughs> um, the in in the sidebar when you're acquainting yourself equating well, when you are acquainting yourself with um with the csc with the agora you, you see um when you first get there and you haven't involved yourself in any particular channels yet um you would see what you would just see would you see anything would you see town you, town square or, uh, or under public channels something. you see town square and i think that's it that's it yeah i think so and then um, you have to you have to magically know um or or somebody has to tell you a, a welcoming person has to tell you um you click the more button and then you see the list of all the channels which i'm subscribed to all the channels so i can't subscribe to any more but um uh bill's got a, a good question here too i you know do you get a, a pop up that says, "Hey, welcome to Agora, you know, CSC, whatever. Um, here's where to go next." Um, I don't think I don't think that happens. Um, th but the thing I was going to ask, from a technical standpoint, is whether there's any way to nest in the sidebar. In other words, to have, you know. A OGM header, a CTA header. The, the, that, the way that we're doing that is just in the name. I, I, I know we're doing it that way now, but I was just wondering if we could. Yeah, you know. I don't think so. And um, for what it's worth, I was in a in a big, really active Slack of ex-slackers 
um, including one who was a ninja at, at organizing. And this is the way they ended up doing it in Slack and it worked really yeah. well. Yeah, um, no, I mean, this is, this is pretty good once yeah. you rock it, but you know, it doesn't, it doesn't lead you particularly to. Well, your, your yeah. So, so one of the, one of the benefits of Slack and Mattermost is that when somebody new comes into a channel, they can scroll back and see stuff. Unlike any other chat where you drop in and only see stuff that from your, the moment you drop in. So here in the welcome wagon, we could actually drop some instructions. We could actually put a couple notes that say, Hey, here's the nomenclature for how the channels live. Here's, here's how to add a channel for yourself. Uh, a couple other things that could also live on a wiki page, of course. Um, but, but if the, my but guess is that we'd want the, um, I, I think the welcome wagon channel is, is good for, um, uh, it, it would be good for the crew and I wouldn't invite newbies in there. Um, uh, so the newbies would end up in town square and, and kind of for Bill, I was going to scroll back to see the. So should so newbies say hi on town square? Should, should everybody come in and announce themselves and say, Hey, I'm here. So here's um, here's Richard Hammond joining um, Town uh, Square, and it's through OGM or through someplace else. Uh, Jack Park, um, right? Um, so Jack and you know told uh, Richard he should get on. Actually, for, for from my point of view, it's actually for David Bobel's conversations, conversations between Jack and Mark Antoine and David Bobel. Um, a little bit of FJP too, I guess. Uh, so anyway, Richard joined the team. The Welcome Wagon folks could be watching this this channel and see this happen, and then it would be really easy to say, you know, uh, hi. Uh, so you'd want to reply to him on that yeah. prompt, right? Or no? Well, so th this this is an interesting question. Um, uh, that creates a threat. Um, this this wasn't yeah. It's know. auto it's auto generated, but but he'll get a he'll get a he'll see it. Better, I don't right? think he will. Um, oh, okay. He got mentioned here, but I don't I don't think he's going to get notified about this. Okay. And, it and there's no reply. Will, and there's no reply because it's just mind. a system notice. Sorry about that. Um, no, not at all. The, the other thing is, what I was thinking is, you know, you you it would be pretty easy for the welcome wagon crew, one of one of the welcome wagon. Um, or maybe a different way to do it, um, and maybe we could automate this. In the welcome wagon, we could say something like a bot even could say at channel, um, at Richard Hammond just, just joined. Please, you know, please welcome him. So I think the welcome wagon channel is probably good for the crew. And then this is where the crew decides what, what to do with other people. So you would notice Richard Hammond, if you knew that he was part of OGM, you would say, hey, Richard, you should probably join OGM calls. Um, and there's some other, you know, also click the more button and um, check all the other OGM channels that you could join. Um, Richard may or may not be, I, I would not count him as an OGM person yet, I think. So, so then, so as a, as, a, uh, as a CSC person, I would love to have OGM, it's, it's funny wearing an OGM hat sometimes with a CSC hat and sometimes, but anyway, with my CSC hat on, I would love if OGM took on a chunk of responsibility for welcoming people to CSC, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, you know, and it, and I don't care too much as, as a CSC person, I don't care too much what they do for welcoming them to OGM, they sh but, but they should also at the same time be welcoming them as long as it doesn't seem like a cult or a bunch of moonies or whatever. Um, uh, I don't mean that derogatory. When do we nobody's... tell them about the cult rituals? I, I hope no moonies are. Anyway, um, you know, it would be really cool to a new OGM person comes on board, welcome wagon swings into action. You know, the other thing that might get, um, that, that might happen here is, you know, at channel, uh, I noticed, you know, Richard joined, I don't have time to welcome him or I don't have, I won't have time this week. You know, is there somebody else who could pick, pick him up and help him? So then somebody like Richard should get a thing. Hey, join OGM calls, um, check the other OGM channels. There's other channels that aren't even OGM that you might be interested in, like coffee shop, which is a little bit more, you know, small culture and off topic. And you can explain off topic. 
Um, and if it's an OGM person and there's a mailing list, if you're not on the mailing list already, you should be on the mailing list. Uh, please also start contributing to the wiki, et cetera, et cetera. So Stacy, also in this cluster of things, um, we started the OGM wiki and it's um, a partially successful experiment, um, which is another way of saying it's partially failed experiment. Um, we should be leaning on this a lot more and we aren't, and I don't know how to make that happen, or even if we want to, I'm not sure that we want to, but I mean, I would love it, but I don't know if collectively we want that. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm looking at my screen, which is, I'm looking at the OGM wiki right now right. instead of. Oh, we're looking at. Well, but I don't want to share my whole screen because I've got mm -hmm. email up and stuff. Um, and I just went back to our landing page. And the last time Pete, you and I edited it, we added a current projects page. So the start of our conversation here kind of exists as a markdown page, which we haven't done anything with. Yep. <clears throat> um, so kind of with good intentions, we've created a couple of assets that could, in fact, maybe with some love and care, turn into the things we're trying to try and do. Yes. And it's not a terrible idea to maybe promote, well, Pete, it doesn't sound like you're a fan of having the Welcome Wagon channel at all, and maybe we should deprecate it, but the no, alternative I, I, strategy is to take away the OGM heading and to make it a general purpose CSC Agora Welcome Wagon, and then to see if that works. Um, I, I don't, I, well, it, it's not that I, I don't want the welcome wagon channel. Um, it's it's what what its purpose is, and we kind of started it and didn't have you know we didn't figure out what the purpose is, or we didn't, at least didn't write it down. Um, I I see the value in having a channel for the welcome wagon crew um, that could be in some communities that would actually be a uh, a, a private channel um, in in OGM culture. It's a public channel. Um, in the same way that we have we, uh, WTW ops, you know. Um, so I think there's a, a, a good idea to have a, um, uh, a crew channel for saying things like, you know, hey, it's can anybody help me? I'm, I've got extra time this week. I'm going to work on the welcome documents and the welcome videos. And, you know, I'd, I'd love some help. Um, I, I don't really see the value in having a um, pan newbie channel. All the newbies get invited to it. You should just invite them to calls um, or whatever the, the you know the general channel is. Another question, actually, we we backed into the fact that calls is the de facto general channel. Um, it would be better, I think, if it were you know um, CTA came in and the the thing that they created was they've only got one so far, but it's general discussion. Um, uh, a, a, a pattern over and over for chat systems is to have a general discussion channel and then you know specific specific topics. Um, so we started with the OGM calls channel because we just wanted to replace Zoom chat and then you know, but that's de facto the one that we're using for the general discussions. But we're not using it for general discussions. And that's another thing that we should do. We should try to get some discussion going. Um, X, X, um, crap, I don't know my Latin. Um, we should. Ex we officio, should, X. Yeah, ex officio. Machina, X. Independent. independent X cathedra. Cathedra. Cathedra, yes. Nice. Um, so <laughs> right now, the, the cathedral is the OGM mailing list um, for horrors. Um, it, you know, there's no reason not to, and we should start moving people into conversation on Mattermost rather than the mailing list and doing that in probably the general discussion channel. We I, have... I mentioned, I, I don't know if this lines up with what you've seen, Pete, in, in your Slack and Discord experiences or anybody else, um, but being in a lot of groups, typical is, Typical channels are general um, introductions, which is a place that people are channeled to, to like say, hi, I'm here, here's my bio, here are my links. So that is in a place where you can go back to, it sort of forms a who's who. And then things like meetings, and which in our case might be calls, I don't know, 
or or various subgroups, but the the existence of of general and introductions is is a familiar one, I think, to most yeah. people. And and another another classic channel is random random or um, off topic is meant to be that in um, Mattermost, and then coffee shop is kind of I think coffee shop started after off topic. So off topic is is supposed to be um, found random. Um, uh, introductions is I've, I've seen it like two thirds, 70% of the time, uh, it's, it's not used well. Um, uh, it's, it's easy for the community moderators to set up an introduction channel and then kind of like put the notes, you know, Hey, make sure you introduce yourself. And, and if you don't have a culture of doing it and welcoming people in there, it doesn't end up happening. Um, and, and 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 then the next like ten or fifteen percent of introduction channels they're really stilted, right? You know, um, the I, I've seen a few of them done well, but you have to pretty you have to watch them pretty carefully. You have to you actually have to facilitate them. Um, um, so so then the the other kinds of channels I'm used to are um, really real topics, and we have a bunch of those on Mattermost um, blockchain or um, we don't really have a COVID one, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know. Um, uh, tools and technology is a really good one. Climactic is a good one. Decentralization is a good one. I do have to bounce. I'm going to pass the con to you and, and see you guys in a little bit. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks. Yes, I, I just want to say one thing, because obvious. I mean, I guess the intent is different than I'm thinking in my head, you know, like it may be the social part is not really a big deal at all. But for me, when I look at the welcome wagon, it's not welcoming. <laughs> so what would, but, but if I look at the 12 people that you mentioned, those are definitely people I want to talk to, but it sort of reminds me of like in real life, when one person gets the job of greeting people, then they're actually sent out of the room and they're not part of the flow. So as a, an ambassador, let's say, that wouldn't be a place where I'd wanna hang out because it's more like a job. Like nobody's there. It's, let me, let me just, well, let me just finish. Let me just finish because I just wanna say what I, what would, what I would love. Let's say at the bottom, it said, stop by happy hour anytime. And then there's another channel, which is happy hour where we're talking about sort of how some people use the OGM mailing list because not everything's so serious. And then you get to know people and then you figure out where you might want to go or you know you should go to that channel. But at yep. least it's getting to know people first. Um, uh, the CSC equivalent of happy hour is coffee shop and off topic both. Um, and they work well, I think. Um, uh, um, I, well, so, so one of the, one of the weird things about, or one of the cool things about an asynchronous, asynchronous medium like this is you can be in two rooms at once, right? If you're in the welcome wagon channel, it doesn't mean that you're not in the general discussion channel. Um, so I think, um, uh, I, I'm, I apologize for going back and I, I feel like I'm gonna repeat myself. I, I probably just wasn't very clear. Um, uh, it's, it's interesting that we have a welcome wagon channel. Um, and I think the way Jerry was thinking about it is, oh, that's where you plop everybody new in. And then you talk about, you know, you, you can, we could plop Richard in here and then you could have a little discussion. He could say, so any channels I should know about, or, you know, what do I do when I want to post about dogs or, you know, whatever, right? You could have newbies posting in Welcome Wagon and then the Welcome Wagon, you know, whoever's in there answering them. I, I don't see the point of that as a, a newbie channel. Um, you should just put them in the general discussion channel. Um, uh, so, or the happy hour one or both, right? Um, Is there a happy hour? No, there's not. <laughs> I want to um, be a saloon keeper. <laughs> well, um, you're so you're well within your uh, your rights to create uh, OGM saloon or OGM happy hour uh, and call yourself the saloon keeper of OGM happy hour. You can just do that. 
um, uh, you actually want um, you want to you want to get a, other, a few other people to to do it with you, right? Um, but anyway, I, I think if we have uh, we should we should kind of chart it out. If you have a new person, you want to you want to join them to the most main channel, probably general discussion or calls or whatever. We should have a, a different channel. We should have calls and general discussion. We shouldn't just have calls, or we could turn the, the calls channel into general discussion or something like that. But anyway, newbies go in the in the general channel. They could also go in the social channel, like happy hour. Um, uh, and then I I see the value of having the the welcome wagon crew, the, the people who volunteer to say hi to people and make sure that, that people feel welcomed. And that doesn't mean that anybody else couldn't do it. It just means that um, if we were professional about this, uh, we would have dedicated folks that made sure that, you know, within 12 hours of somebody coming up and showing up, they would know what channels they're in, how to use Mattermost, um, how to find other stuff, um, where the wiki is, you know, that there's a mailing list that they can join, all that stuff, right? If we were professional about it, you would do that. And I'm not saying that we should be or, you know, that we I don't know, um, uh, but you know. Um, so then, those those volunteers, it's good to have a channel where you can back uh, like a, like in a hospital and the nurses break room or something like that, or you know, um, or in, in retail in the break room. You know, it's like, hey, there was a spill on twenty six and nobody cleaned it up for half an hour. What the heck was going on with that, right? right. Or, or um, I noticed, uh, you know, I noticed a kid wandering around and nobody took care of her for, you know, five minutes. Um, I think we should do a better job of that. Or, you know, I'm trying to think of something happy now. Um, but there's there's a, a place birthday. for what's that? <laughs> it's somebody's birthday. Um, it's somebody's we birthday. Really let's do have something. a yeah. Let's. Um, I I started the card, you know, the birthday card, and can everybody sign it or whatever? Right. Yeah. So um, that's what I would do with Welcome Wagon, the channel. A thought just for um, for coffee shop in the sh in the short run. Um, if coffee shop um, said, you know, I mean, if the title, if the name of coffee shop was um, coffee shop parentheses welcome newcomers or welcome everyone, including newcomers or, you know, something, if, if that was what you saw when you saw a coffee shop and when you first joined or, or CSP, happy hour. or happy hour, whatever it was called. But I mean, at the, at the cost of creating another, since I, I get what you're saying, the coffee shop is kind of that already and meant to be that, but you know, but it's, people might not understand that it is. Yeah, I, I know it's not the welcome wagon. Wait uh, a minute. I'm sorry. I thought I heard Pete say that coffee shop is not OGM. It isn't. Okay. It I'm isn't. Sorry. And I, I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, where do you find out? Where do you come? Whoever invited you, however you got to this matter most, you know, you see town square which is for everybody, not just OGM. And if you saw coffee shop as a sort of welcoming place where you could have, you know, one-to-one -one conversations with whoever's there as you can in a coffee shop, as opposed to a town square, which is more of CSC's general as a whole, um, th that might be a place. I I'm just, I, I you know, wouldn't, I well, uh, a couple things. Um, uh, um, I I wouldn't well I wouldn't muck around with coffee shops specifically, or you know, um, uh, because um, because there's culture there already. You know, gotcha. whoever is in okay. coffee shop is is comfortable with the fact that you kind of have to. I it, it's 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 a it's a, it's kind of a hole in the wall, right? Um, right. it, it's like, you know, until, you know, you're new in town and you're wandering the streets and you go, I, I can't believe this place is so boring. It's only got Starbucks, you know, and, and, and that's the point at which somebody like 
you know, hey, you know, you look okay. You know, I've seen you around a couple of times. You're not, you're not a creep. Um, let me bring you down to, you know, this hole in the wall, right? And then you go, oh, wow, okay, here's the culture. I, so it doesn't really need to advertise itself more, coffee shop in, in particular right now, right? Um, I think even, I, I probably wouldn't overload the, the names of the, the channels um, because you can, just can't fit enough explanation in there ultimately. Um, and, and newbies have got um, a new environment shock, basically. It's like, I don't know anything about how to find myself a way around in here, right? And I don't know what these words mean and I don't know, you know, channel, what does that mean? So it just, you know, the, um, so for a new person, if we were professional, um, there should be a, a, a web page someplace that uh, ideally the system would say, you know, go read this webpage, but um, at least maybe the person who invited you, if they, if everybody knew there was a webpage that described, you know, CSC matter most, um, here's, you know, here's kind of the lay of the land, that, that should be a webpage, there should be one of those, and a couple of those maybe, um, here's the technical part, here's the cultural part. Um, if you're from OGM, you know, here's another OGM addendum. If you're from CTA, here's the CTA addendum. Uh, addendum. Um, and that's probably where you would say, you know, hey, play, fun places to hang out. If you like jokes, um, you know, go here. If, if you want some um, uh, artsy uh, conversation, go here. Um, if you like geeking out, go here. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that I, I get what you're saying about, about, reacting to what I was saying about coffee shop and it, and it, no, no, no. I mean, I, 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 I get everything you're saying and, and I'm just thinking like, I wonder if there's, you know, you made me think about coming to the new town and you can walk around in the town square and like, you don't speak the language and you don't know anybody and you don't know where everything is, anything is, and you're kind of stymied. If you have a guidebook, you go to the cool coffee shop, yeah. you ask a few questions and you find stuff out. Yeah. You don't have to, you, you aren't probably going to be stopped by somebody in the time in the, in the town square saying you look okay. <laughs> you can come to the coffee shop. That, that doesn't so, happen. And, and well, so I get it, that. So, but what there is in the town square, and maybe this is the metaphor we need is like that, that round booth with the big letter I on top of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah. you know they can direct you to the coffee shop if you're there for OGM. O OGM is over there. CTA is over there. Yeah. So that basic letter I. Yeah. I, I wonder how how we can affect that because it's not as complicated as a welcome wagon, and maybe it's just an onboarding screen. I don't know. You know, uh, but I just wanted to throw that out there as a metaphor. It's a great uh, metaphor. Really perfectly simple. spot on. So what about um, a visual map with just like little summaries of each of the channels? You'd get that at the at the information booth, I think. I yeah. mean, that's what would. I mean, we we don't have to flesh so, out that metaphor right now, but I mean, but maybe we can think about that as well. As so a, there's there's two things at the at the the big blue eye booth. One of them is is uh, like either a wall thing or maybe a brochure thing or both. The, the wall thing has got that little map and you know maybe rules and rules and suggestions or rules and regulations or whatever. Um, so it's got some printed materials. So those are probably web pages in you know in our our life. The other thing hopefully it has is it's um, got a person there. Um, so you can ask the person, you know, okay, so I kind of get it, but I where do I, I want to talk about dogs. Where do I talk about dogs? I don't see that on the map, right? So you do, you kind of need a, you, you need, it, it would be nice. Um, it would be uh, nice to have both wiki pages and then some, uh, some uh, information booths, uh, volunteers, docents. Yeah, I mean, docents would be awesome and when it's closed, you know, just the signs, yeah. or brochures, like you yeah. said. And not everybody wants to ask the docents, right? You don't want to, yeah. you know, 
either you don't care right now or you don't want to look stupid or whatever. So ideally, the, the onboarding process gets you a, a, a web page to start with, um, maybe with a nice map and descriptions. Um, uh, and then, so, um, So I, I think there's, so that kind of covers Mattermost maybe um, for something like OGM where there's more stuff, you know, hey, you know, there's, it turns out that there's a weekly call. And if you're really excited about calls, then there's like three or four weekly calls actually. Um, I think that's, that's where the, the welcome market makes sense mostly. And I might add that you know, different participants might have different levels of concierge service, like OGM might have a welcome wagon, yeah. you know, CTA might not, yeah. but it's almost like your, your signage is kind of a link tree yep. that says, you know, CTA, da da da, OGM, yep. da da da, and, yep. and like that's, that's the bare bones of the, yep of the letter I information booth. Yeah, agreed. Um, I, I, a pattern that we haven't mentioned specifically, but that is in the back of my mind that isn't written down and it should be. Um, uh, and this used to work for the early days of Mattermost and now it, it works less. But one of the patterns that I hope people have, um, and I don't, I, I, I wish or something like that. It, it's, it's, not, it's not a realistic wish. Um, I don't mind exploring around in tech tools, right? So just having somebody say, oh, and see where it says public channels, click the more button, and then you see a whole bunch of things, right? That's fun for me. So I kind of expect people to do that. You know, It's like, oh, you should click the more thing and then you'll see things like blockchain -y and climactic and coffee shop and decentralization. You know, If those, any of those sound interesting, you should go check them out. And it's, you know, people won't bite usually um, and you know, just feel free to go ahead and do that. And so that for me, that's how somebody would end up finding coffee shop and deciding whether or not they like it. There's another part to that, which is you can preview a channel without having to join a channel, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it, you could actually go see if you like coffee shop before you even, like barge in. Mm -hmm. um, uh, all of that, all of that pattern is stuff that's not documented. That's not, it's also not obvious. And I also understand that even if it's fun for me, that's not the way many people would approach a thing. You know, they would rather have either somebody kind of holding their hand and, and showing them stuff or maybe a, a, a nice guidebook you know here's a printout of what happens in coffee shop during a regular week or whatever so this is so strange for me because like i said before i went before the call i was in coffee shop and i saw ken put up a video of danny k and i thought oh, it was a comfortable place and i thought it was ogm so now i feel like an interloper because i commented on a page that wasn't and i'm like now I'm totally confused. Well, you shouldn't feel like an intro. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe you should. Um, maybe yeah, for you. I'm not going to go should. back. <laughs> well, I, you know, own it. Um, you're, you're a CSC Mattermost participant. Um, so you're welcome in, in, in any of the channels you can get to. There are channels you can't get to and you don't even know about them. So if, if people really don't want you there, you won't even know about the channel. Um, so you're welcome in any of the channels. I didn't. Eat, I think I know what CSE is, but I didn't even know what that was. But I think I do now. Collective Sense Commons. Yeah. Okay. And it's basically me, mostly. There's a, a one or two helpers, kind of. Okay. Um. Well, any place I see a video of Danny K, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> Um, you should poke around some of the other, uh, maybe I, I'm going to just do this because it's on top. Right well, now. now I know, to, now I'll look and I'll make sure. Yeah. So all you have to do is go down yeah. to the, um, down to the more button and click more and you'll see a whole bunch of places. Oh, archive channels. That's not what I want. Um, 
you'll you'll see you know a bunch of channels. You'll see all of these channels. Um, so uh, so there's a whole bunch of OGM channels, uh, many of them which we don't really use very much. Uh, Pure Gaji kind of came in and they haven't they've been pretty quiet. Um, I don't even know about oh quests were quests are actually OGM things uh, even though they have the separate name. Um, but, well, I'm good because I don't really belong there. I would only go to a channel at this point that I'm invited to. You know, um, like I said, the, there were familiar names there. So you're welcome to join wherever you want. So, you know, you've, you're in Flotilla, I think, now, which is really cool. Yes. Um, Hyper Knowledge, you might really like. Um, uh, you might not discuss stuff there, but it's a fun conversation. Oh, really? Hasn't happened for a while, I guess. Maps and mapping is another big one. You would like that. Um, Massive Wiki, you're welcome. Yeah, throw so, me a Massive Wiki. What's that? <laughs> Can you throw me in there? I have to go there or? Mm. Thank you. You're already there. <laughs> Music meta, if you like music and <laughs> stuff about music. Um, off topic is really interesting. It's got almost all the, the almost, it's got, you know, almost everybody. Um, so this is where everything is allowed kind of, which is- I mean, honestly, I what, what I enjoy most are the emails. Mm -hmm. I wish there were calls that coincided with the emails. Because they would, it would be nice to just have it going all the time and just be able to drop in like a coffee shop. You you might try to do that in in Mattermost because it's it's easier to have it going all the time. And I would home. under happy hour. Could be happy hour. Could be you know. Could be climate. Could be whatever. Um, we. Uh, I guess I'm a, looking, I'm sorry. Should we make it an OGM happy hour uh, channel? Should, yeah, I mean. Or, we, or should we discuss that next week? We should. All right, let's discuss it next week. But I guess I'm looking for something that's, see, I know you guys hate Facebook, but what I like about Facebook is I can, no, no, no. But I can go where the serious conversations are. Or I could just, if I'm in a mood and I want to put up a song to share with people, I could just do that. I can pick and choose, you know, like it's a little bit of everything. I just. Yeah, same, same thing here. Well, I haven't found the right channel that has the mix of like getting to know people and being comfortable. Yep. And not being too like, you know, spammy with stupid crap because I, I don't have a high tolerance for stupid crap either. Um, so, so it sounds like we should, we should have a OGM happy hour, um, channel. I, I mean, I watch my, goes. what, that? where anything goes, I mean, um, not yeah, anything. uh, um, if we have a few more minutes, maybe, so there's, there's some things that we talked about on this call that, that should happen kind of. Um, and maybe we should take those as notes and then bring them into the next call. Does that sound like a good use of yes, time? Yes, that sounds that, like a good idea. I mean, I threw, in, I threw in the information booth. Yeah. Between, you know, but. Um, uh, is um, uh, HackMD or Google Docs? Either is fine by me. Google Docs, because I don't even know what HackMD is. I thought it okay. was where you look up your il your illnesses. <laughs> <laughs> I had that same, I had that same reservation when when Pete first <laughs> HackMD. I was like, that does not sound like <laughs> the association of those two words does not sound like a positive thing. <laughs> Something you're going to walk away from healthy. <laughs> So now I have uh, now I have uh, buyers who got buyers remorse or something, uh, collaborators remorse. Uh, I 
so I hate to do this. I hate to bait and switch. Um, we should switch this over to HackMD and then, and then it'll end up in the wiki. If it's in Google Docs, it's going to end up never in the wiki. Okay, you want to show us what HackMD, I mean, Michael I, might I know, know, but I have no idea what HackMD is. Uh, the MD, um, the MD in HackMD uh, stands for Markdown. Okay, thank you. So there's no good reason for it. Well, I mean, I don't know, whatever. Um, HackMD oh. is a lot like Google Docs, more or less. Um, for fun historical and technical reasons, there's two sides to it. This is this is a uh, this side is kind of like source code, and this side is kind of like a web page. So instead of having them in one place, like Google Docs says, they're in two places. Kind of so crazy. The right hand side is is Google Docs essentially. Um, Uh, okay, so um, I guess I could make this uh, bullets. Okay, so welcome, Wagon. Um, so and yeah, just a question: Are these under the build G OGM uh, meeting headline? Are these OGM Mattermost channel suggestions or suggestions for CSC? Uh, good question. Okay, both. And then, and then this kind of splits into two things. Um, does OGM want to help um, uh, CSC with things, or is OGM just going to say, "Yo, CSC, you should do this," but we don't want to help? Gotcha. Um, let me actually spell these perfectly correctly, rather than. Um, For that, I'm going to make this smaller. I hope that's still readable. And uh, Stacy, just for your info, like yeah. if if Pete shared the URL for this, you were you and I could be adding to it too. Not not that you should, Pete, necessarily, but that's one of the things about a HackMD. It's, it's a, I, I, know, I will in you case know, you want to, Michael. Document. Um. Uh, oh, so OGM calls and then OGM welcome again. Okay, so those are the channels that we talked about specifically. And I, I, we should talk about this again. So each of those things, I think we should talk about again. Yeah. Any, anything else? 
I'm, I'm going to add something. Thanks. So Stacy, the happy hour, you, you said it would be really cool if we had kind of an ongoing call for the discussions in the email list. Is this, and then I said, you know, a, a channel is easier than a call. Um, not that I'm against calls, but channels are just easier than calls. No, no, I, I, I like this idea. And I'm just thinking, I want to think through it because I'd like to see like a section, like, you know how like, like Ken Homer will come up with like a when he was on Facebook, he would throw in like a comic. I'd like it to be a yep. place where like there's a comic there. He could even talk about the cartoon, like they're almost yep. like a theme. Yep. It's, it's so would a happy hour channel kind of get what you want? Yeah. And I would be happy to hang out there. That would be my home. <laughs> uh, so then we've also talked, uh, OGM. Um, money and OGM. So not that this is really written down anywhere, but anybody can create a channel whenever they want. Um, uh, and maybe someday that won't be a, that won't be the way that we make new channels on Mattermost, but it is right now. Um, so, so tech, hard. what's that? Um, it's it's just so hard with so many channels because like imagine if in our conversation every time we just change the subject we had to move to another channel. Like it just, for me, it's hard. It doesn't feel integrated. It's like, all right, well, do I put this here? Do I, I mean, I get that it has to be this way. It doesn't have to be. You could have everybody talking about everything in one channel. Well, that's what I'm hoping this happy hour place could be. <laughs> where So it could flow naturally. Um, um. I, I think I think at some point you'll end up liking channels, but I do I like them for really concentrated discussion because if you want to get something done, you yeah. want to weed that out. Yeah. But I but I want the place where it's where it's like, you know, anything goes. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. that reminded me of this. And if you separate that, then no, I, I totally agree. Um a question uh, just about uh, Welcome Wagon. Does that exist already or is that something that we'd be creating? It exists already it exists. Um, and, and we should do something with it. Okay. And um, I'm just going to offer. You want me to, to uh, join you, Michael, real quick? Or? What's that? Do you want me to, to invite you to? I'm going to. Oh, so to well, yeah, sure. Just so that um, you remember it, not that, not that okay. you could, you could leave. I was just going to share a thought, um, which I'll, I'll do in, in the, the hack MD, um, just that possibly abridging its name to welcome, um, the welcome wagon as a metaphor is one that generationally, <laughs> Yeah, I think the three of us, <laughs> I've never experienced it, but I've heard of it, you know, because it was a thing yep. when my parents yep. Yep. moved into a new neighborhood and for yep. people younger than us. Um, I remember Jerry and I actually, actually discussing this as we created Welcome Wagon. I just threw like, away my Welcome Wagon phone book. 
that I had for like wow. Wow. a really long time. <laughs> I think the welcome wagon, you know, was how you were introduced to the milkman or something. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Um, I, yeah. Just I, uh, so meaning it to, to be a little bit more hip, it might be a thing, but I, well, I think. Not hip, just accessible. <laughs> <laughs> just like decipherable. <laughs> um, I didn't, I don't, uh, I, well, as a crew channel, I think it's a cute name um, and it's fine that it's a little uh, obtuse. Um, I don't think we should have a, a, welcome, a general welcome channel. Um, well, I'll, I'll just... Uh, I, I will say that maybe we should have an introductions channel, although they, you really need to take care of them. Uh, Stacy, where I was going with anybody can create a channel is not that we should have a, a proliferation of channels, um, but really, technically, any one of us uh, could go make OGM happy hour, like literally the second. Um, but it it's it's better if um, it's well. Uh, creating a, a, a creating a discussion, creating a channel, starting a channel and getting it to be successful. It's kind of like building a, a campfire or something like that. You know, you have to have a plan. You have to have gathered enough kindling. You have to have, right. you know, sustained activity over time. So, <clears throat> really, what you want to do is get a few people together. And actually, this is. Um, So for any channel, what you want to do is you want to have a, a, a couple of people coming up with the idea that there could be a channel. And then you, have, you want to have a good and descriptive name. And then you create it with a few of the, the seed panel, the, the seed people, and then you, you continue to add people to it um, for a month or whatever until, it, you know, until it's bubbling. It's also like sourdough starter or kombucha. I totally yeah. agree. So even though you know, even though we could create the happy hour right now, we should have a plan yeah. a little bit more. I think we should wait. Anything else? Not for the recorded version. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop the recording. Um, this will stop sharing. Stop the recording.